Depositors of corrupt Iranian credit institutions held demonstrations in Tehran and Kermanshah. On Tuesday, February 20th, depositors of the state-backed Caspian Credit Institution gathered in front of the Iranian regime's public court in Tehran and marched into the Tehran Bazaar toward the Iranian regime's Attorney General office. The protesters were chanting, Where are our possessions? The Attorney General is asleep and why isn't the country's law being upheld? At the same time in Kerman Shah, another group of investors were holding similar protests in front of the Caspian local branch. Iran arrests six Christian converts in northern city. A human rights group said that six Christian converts were arrested in one month in the northern city of Rasht. According to the report, two Christian converts identified as Hossein Kadiba and Khalil Pordigan were detained on January 29th in a house church. Another man, identified as Abdul Reza Ali Had Najad, was detained in his home on February 10th. Three other men were arrested on February 15th in a church congregation held in a home. They were identified as Mohammed Vahbada, Mohammed Islamdust, and Kamal Nama Nian. They were all taken to unknown locations. Prominent labor rights activist held incommunicado. The vice president of the Free Union of Iranian Workers, Parvin Mohammadi, has been held incommunicado in Tehran's notorious Evin prison. During the past two weeks, Mohammadi has not been allowed to speak with her attorney or relatives on the phone. Mohammadi's close relatives are very concerned about the health of this labor activist because she suffers from illnesses such as severe migraine. On January 29th, security forces arrested Mohammadi and the Secretary of the Board of Directors of the Union, Jafar Azimzadar, within hours of each other. Iran has up to 400,000 undocumented people. There are between 300,000 and 400,000 people in Iran who have no documents proving their identity, Iranian MP Abdullah Hatamian told Fars News Agency. According to him, at present, these people are 20 to 25 years old. He added that they are unable to marry or receive any documents, nor can they get employed. He said, if the fathers of these people are Afghans, then they have no place in Afghanistan or in Iran. According to Iranian law, if one's father is a citizen of a foreign country and their mother is an Iranian citizen, they are not eligible for gaining Iranian citizenship. Bahrain, six jailed for receiving military training in Iran and Iraq. The Bahrain Supreme Criminal Court on Tuesday sentenced six people to varying prison terms and stripped five of them of their nationality after finding them guilty of receiving military training in Iran and Iraq in order to commit crimes in the country. The official Bahrain news agency said the court has sentenced three defendants to life imprisonment, two to five years in jail, and one defendant to a seven-year term without further details. According to the agency, the Department of Criminal Investigation in Bahrain has received information indicating that a group of terrorists have travelled to Iran and Iraq between 2017 and 2018 to receive military training to commit terrorist crimes in Bahrain. <laughs>